What's going on YouTube? Frank Z here. Uh, so these are my spare batteries. I got six good ones. And I'm going to balance them all. And I'm going to show you the process to get them all nice and even. All right. I don't know, probably be lots of uh, people disagree or whatever, but this is the best way I know how to do it, and this is the way I do it. Now, I got 40 batteries in use, 12 volt batteries, uh, quite a few cells, 12 times 40, and uh, yeah, my batteries are pretty damn balanced. If you've seen some of my videos, you'll know how important I think it is to balance. And uh, this is the process and how I start. Thanks for watching. So, I cleaned up all the terminals. They're nice and clean. I'll show you what all the, all the voltages are. Just keep it on there. Actually looking pretty balanced. Yeah, this is the one. So they're a little bit off. Six zero. That's the oldest. So what I'll do is uh, parallel them all. Let them sit for a day or two. Maybe give them a little quick. Uh, slow two amp charge, and I'll uh, show you when I get them all paralleled up. Thanks. So they're all hooked up in parallel. Just had some fun with the board. So I'll let this sit like this for a day or two. Let them all kind of balance all the power will even out and then uh, oh, may keep it on a 12 volt for a charge right now that's a 600 amp hour 12 volt battery so might take a while if I put it into uh, 72 volts Marlin. I can hook up a panel to it It'll probably be a heck of a lot quicker charge. You can see how well they balance. Anyways, stay tuned. So, alright, I'll see you right here. Twelve point seven three volts. Now, that'll be for the whole stack. Because, uh, yeah, they're all paralleled, so if I measured every battery, it would be a 12.74 all the way down. So, got my trusty little charger there. I'm gonna uh, fire that up for a couple days and see where we get to. Anyways, thanks for watching. So, I've given them a good charge now, and I've let them settle. I remember this one at the end is a leaker, so I had a nice big puddle of battery acid on top of it right here, so I have to write that on that one because I did forget. Right. See where we're at here for voltage. We're still sitting at 12.98 with no charge. So they're holding pretty nicely. And just evens them out, you know. It'll keep evening them out too, so. And as soon as you're uh, ready to use them, maybe just give them a quick refreshing. Depends on the state of your other batteries. But 
I like to put them into a full system, full batteries into a fully charged system. But so make a long story short, the easiest way to get your batteries all nice and balanced, put them into their lowest cell or their lowest nominal voltage where these batteries here are 12 volt is the lowest nominal where our batteries outside I got they're uh, 6 volt so you'd want to parallel them all into a 6 volt and charge them all at 6 volts which this charger basic charger can also do that as well and also same with the 2 volt batteries you gotta parallel all of them and charge them the same as well now do that a couple times discharge them charge them back up again discharge them it'll get them into their own little rhythm and yeah and when you take them apart they will all be the same voltage now some of them do sag a little quicker than others but that's just because of age and poor uh, usage of them in the previous system now they had 30 batteries in series and I know how these batteries are in series so I guarantee they were all over the place they weren't balanced because I took the system apart but if you kept your batteries balanced right from day one like charge them equally, discharge them equally, they will all be very, very equal. And you should get all very similar life out of them too. So anyways, this is what works for me. And you can even do this with an older battery or a newer battery. If you're doing putting a new battery into an older system, you can follow these same guidelines and you know, you just they will, it might take a week or two of charging, discharging, but they will get the rhythm and they will eventually become part of the bank. Now, I'm not saying this about every single battery type because my experiences are mainly with this AGM and open lead acid. So between those two, they, uh, they're pretty straightforward, these batteries, I tell you. But they do short out. Once that happens, they're almost garbage. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you gained some knowledge out of this video.